cloth straps have certainly taken off as a popular choice to adorn one's watch in recent years. Large manufacturers such as Blancpain, Amiga and Longines provide them as standard issue on certain pieces. The problem that arises is when eventual replacement of these straps is needed, or even just purchasing an OEM strap as a consumer as an alternative choice, can nearly be impossible or more often extremely expensive. The latter was one of the driving motivations for Adelaide-based company Artem Straps to step in and change the game. Now, for clarity, the generous lads from Artem not only sent me some fresh straps in for this review, they also stated to be honest, you should all know that I call a spade a spade by now, and tell us what you think, but they even sent over an OEM Blancpain strap for comparison, which they told me took nearly four months to get a hold of. This is how confident and proud these guys are of their product, and I'm certainly humbled to be given this opportunity to compare what's considered the top tier in the business. So, before we begin, what is sailcloth? Well, as the name suggests, it originates from marine time, and more specifically, a ship's sails. Sails are not only subject to strong wind forces, but also have to endure harsh marine environments consisting of salt and long exposure to UV light from the sun. Hence, why sailcloth material is selected to suit the conditions encountered at sea. Initially, sailcloth was made from natural fibres such as flax, hemp and cotton, but as technology has advanced, synthetic materials has replaced it with things such as nylon, polyester, kevlar and even carbon fibre. Why the shift to synthetic materials? Well, while sailcloth materials are aesthetically pleasing and robust, the way they feel in general is not particularly comfortable. So whilst genuine sailcloth is excellent for its intended purpose, it's not necessarily a suitable material for high quality watch straps. And this is what led the guys at Artem to use synthetic materials. After extensive R&D, they came up with their own unique combination with the final product you see here today. Before you even get to the strap, however, the presentation box is just outstanding. I don't think I've ever seen a strap arrive in such a well-presented package. The logo proudly sits atop, and as you slide the box open, you know you're heading down the path of luxury. In contrast, if you order a Blancpain sailcloth, it arrives in a cardboard envelope. It has their logo on it, which is nice, I guess, but that's it. Now, I understand some of you may not care about how an item is packaged, but to me, it shows a company has not only thought about the product, but shows they care about your experience. It's a bit like when you peel that clear plastic protective sheet off a new iPhone. As they say, first impressions count. Once released, the first thing you notice is the shiny yet subtle exterior, which is just sublime. Straight out of the box, these straps are quite easy to flex and bend and mould to your wrist quite quickly. Like most synthetic materials we find used in watch straps, for me personally, I found by the end of a full day of wearing the strap, it had conformed to my wrist and it was very comfortable for all day use. Item straps are on par here with Blancpain. I found the flex and feel was very similar, and while the Blancpain was slightly thinner at the lug end of the strap, the item very quickly tapered down to the same size about a quarter of the way down the strap. Overall, the item has a little more sheen or shine to the strap, while the Blancpain has a more of a flat appearance. Dimensions of both straps are standard length of 115mm long end and 75mm on the short end. This should accommodate up to wrist sizes of around 7.5 inches. Artem currently has lug widths available in 20, 21 and 22 millimeters, and I believe a 23 millimeter is coming very soon as well. The stitching on all sample straps is impeccable and I did not come across any missed stitches anywhere even under macro which is extremely impressive. On the reverse side, I prefer the Artem stitching that's slightly sunken or flattened so it's smooth across the entire backing, whereas the Blancpain is raised and you could feel it against your skin. Current stitching colours are the popular ones being black, grey and white, which covers a huge variety of watches and combos as I've shown with a couple of different styles of watches. It's certainly a great all-rounder. It should be also noted that there's also a choice of quick release or standard spring bars which are provided with the straps. Choices with Blancpain, standard, with no spring bars provided. Pin buckle holes are exact and cleanly punched or cut through the use of a sharp die or mould press and so far there is minimal wear from the recently tweaked pin style buckle. Artem are always looking to improve and recently made slight changes to their buckle design after feedback from customers, 
which led to a softening of the buckle edges and a change to a slightly smaller and rounded pin. They then sent these revised editions for free to early adopters of their straps as a thank you for their continued support. That is how you business and look after your customers. The Tang buckle itself is 316L stainless steel that's polished on the outer portion and brushed on the inner portion where the Tang sits along with just a simple small Artem logo. Personally I prefer slightly smaller profiled buckles but the finishing is still very high quality. If you're into deployment style buckles you're also covered as uh, Artem now have a small accessories line and these clasps fit straight up to the existing strap. Longpong provides you with a empty strap end. That's right, nothing, nada, zip. They are not the only ones I have to say, but in this day and age I cannot believe that large watch companies either charge you large sums of money, not just for the strap, but for a buckle as well. A quick Google search reveals that a simple deployment clasp fetches prices well over 500 Australian dollars. It's just unreal. On the reverse side, there is a soft, almost rubber-like synthetic backing that is waterproof, unlike some other brands that use leather, for example, so you can take these straps anywhere. I haven't swum with mine yet, but they have nightly adventures into water at bath time with my young son, and I'm happy to report that they repel water and are still in perfect condition. Blangpang's backing are also soft and smooth, and their website indicates it's a rubber construction, so it's very waterproof as well. Both are very smooth, and I'd say with the Blangpang even just ever so slightly more softer on skin. Both also have company branding nicely etched into the backing. So the final burning question is obviously twofold. How much are they, and are they as good as Blangpang? Artem straps are $85 USD, or $119 Australian for the standard spring bars, with the quick release an additional $13. Yes, this is more expensive than other sale cloth alternatives on the market. However, this is a luxury item with extremely high quality finishings, designed and built by passionate, detail oriented and customer focused watch enthusiasts that have spent countless hours perfecting these straps to the best of their ability. Having held both of these straps in my hands for weeks now, yes, Artem straps are as good as Blancpain. The fact you get a well designed, buckle, spring bars, and personal customer service, that's priceless. Oh, did I mention Blancpain straps cost around $400 Australian? If you can find them, food for thought. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe to the channel, it really really helps. And if you want to see more daily content, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Productions. See you next time.